could be a bee or a... Hmm... My, oh my! Whoa! Hey! Back! Back, back! Get back! Yeah! Oh! I broke a wing, didn't I? Are you okay? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I don't know. My name's Strawberry Shortcake, and this is Custard, and that's Pupcake. Markalope Berry Glow. FWFPFC. FWF what, C? Fairy World Fairy Princess First Class. A real live fairy? What are you doing here, Margalo? I was just taking a nap, and then that beast attacked me, and I broke my wing. See? And, well, you know, I need to fly. Flying keeps me safe. Now I'll probably get snatched up by a crow. Thanks to that beast. Then you have to come home with us and let us take care of you till you're better. No. No. Um, take care of me, you say? Till I'm better? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't want to put you out. It's the very least we can do. In that case, let's go. We're taking care of a fairy. Can I get you something to eat? Well, if it isn't a lot of trouble. No trouble. A wee bit of bread might be nice. Sure thing. And maybe put a slice of cheese on it? You got it. And some turkey if you have any. Okay. Might as well add some mayo while you're at it. A little lettuce, pickles, no onion, and a few olives <laughs> on the side. Some soup would hit the spot. Big chunk of cake. And did I mention I absolutely adore ice cream? It might help my poor broken wing heal a bit faster. So I can, you know, get out of your way. You can stay as long as you need to, Margola. This'll be great. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, excuse me. Just a doorbell. Someone's here. Hello, hello, hello. Are you home, Stormy Shortcake? Where are you? Hi, Ginger Snap. Come meet my new friend, Margolo. Whoa, a real live, living, breathing fairy. Don't see one of those every day. No, sorry. Where'd you find her, huh, Stormy Shortcake? She was in the fairy patch. Just look at those little wings, would ya? Did they really work, huh? Not right now. One of them's hurt and she can't fly. No flying for me. Where'd you come from anyway? Margolo, is it? I'm from the fairy world, beneath the berry fairy fields. I'm the one who gives the berries their color. Wow, well, what do you know about that, huh? I thought the berries grew that way. Nope, that's my doing. Why, they'd be nothing without me. Green and hard as rocks, if I wasn't on the job. But how do you do it? Let me tell you about my own special method. Wondering, 
Would you like to meet the rest of our friends? Hmm. Well, why not? Come on, then. Wait! I can't fly. Remember? Oh. Of course, Margolo. Here, hop on. Mm. Whoa. Without my wings, I'm afraid of heights. Hmm. Hold on, wait right there. Made her the other night, motor and everything ought to be just the right size for you, Margolo. What do you think? Well... <laughs> well, hey, what are you waiting for? Hey, wait for We're us! We're coming! Hold on there! <laughs> I could bake a dollhouse-sized cake that'd be just right for her. <laughs> so, what do you think, Blueberry? Isn't Margolo the fairy just the fairiest, huh? She sure is. I have some doll clothes that ought to fit her. Thanks for introducing me to Margolo. I have some toy plates and dishes that are her size. I don't know how to thank you all. Do you see what I see, Pupcake? That wing looks pretty good to me. been faking the whole thing. What? What is it? What's the matter, Custard? It's Margolo. Is something wrong with her? You betcha there is. What? She's a fake. That's what. Right, Pupcake? <coughs> Last night, middle of the night, me and Pupcake saw her flying. <coughs> There's not a thing wrong with her wings. She's taking advantage of you, Strawberry. Oh, Custard, maybe you just thought you saw her flying. Maybe it was just a shadow or something. Come on, we'll show you. <gasps> I tell you, we saw what we saw. <laughs> Markalo, where are you? Strawberry? Is that you? What's the matter? Where is it? Is it gone? Is what gone? That awful crow! What awful? There was a crow in here last night. Huge thing, horrible, flew right in the open window and tried to get me. I couldn't get away because I couldn't fly. So I hid under the cup and that's where I've been all night long. That must have been what you saw, Custard. A crow! But it wasn't. Oh. Margolo, look out! Strawberry, thank you. Guess this wing isn't healing too well, is it? And to think, Custard thought you could fly. She what? Oh, well, she's probably just feeling out of sorts. Psst, closer, Strawberry. She's not the center of attention anymore, you know, and I bet it's making her jealous. What's she talking about? I'm sure Custard will be fine. We gotta show Strawberry what a faker Margolo is. Flying and much more exciting. Now! Out of my way, will ya? There. Nice and comfy. <laughs> Hi, Margolo. Oh, thank you, Strawberry. Fresh air and sunshine will help your wing. And you know what else it help? Some of that yummy shortcake you make. <sighs> Margolo this, Margolo that. I can't take this much longer. And maybe I won't have to. Come on. Blueberry won't mind if we borrow a few of her dress-up clothes. Just what we need. And some more of this, one of those, a couple of these. We've got work to do. Anything else we can get you? 
Oh, I'm fine. For now. I'll call if I need something. Isn't she the cutest? Oh, I know. Just adorable. On the count of three. One, two, three. to do such a thing. Oh, we, me, he, I, she, you, well... Maybe you haven't been the center of attention, Custard, but isn't this going a little far? We, me, he, I, she, I, I... Are you hurt bad, Margalo? <laughs> I'm not hurt good. Can you move your wing? Come on, Pupcake. I don't think we belong here anymore. More meatloaf, Margalo? No, no, I couldn't. Gotta save room for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Custard and Pupcake? Not since they played that awful trick on Margalo. Where could they be? It's so much nicer here than where I used to live. Is it really? I have such fine friends here. Not like back there. Oh, come on now. I bet you had lots and lots and lots of friends. Not like you. I don't think the other fairies liked me. They didn't like the way I looked. You know, my hair and clothes. They can be mean that way. Hmm. We could help you. We could give you a makeover and make you a whole new beautiful you. Oh, could you? Would you? Strawberry. What? But why? There's not enough room for us back there. Not with, you know, her around. Oh, Custard, there will always be room for both of you, no matter what. <laughs> what is it, Pupcake? <laughs> What's happened to the berries? Margalo, she hasn't been giving the berries their color. And now they're dying! Custard, Pupcake, won't you please come home with me so we can tell her? We'll come, Strawberry. But I wouldn't expect much help from Margalo. Come on, quickly! We don't have any time to lose! Ginger Snap Angel Cake, where is she? Where's Margalo? Here she is. Well, what do you think? I think something's wrong with the berries, Margalo. Berries? What berries? They're dying in the field. I think they need you to take care of them. Oh, Strawberry, I really don't think I'd better. I mean, it'd just make my injury worse. But what will happen to them without you? I don't know, maybe you ought to take care of them. Well, okay. I guess I can try. Whoa. Uh, you have to do it so uh, early, Strawberry? This is the way Margalo says she did it. First, I start with red from the morning sun. I add it to the berries. Then I catch the morning dew. <sighs> and sprinkle it on the berries, too. No, 
Now what's next? Oh, yes! A bird song from the trees. I hear one over there, Strawberry. But it's there, too. That way. Oh! How do I catch a song? I just can't do this. I know it's wrong, tricking her this way. But it's so nice the way they take care of me. I can't give it up. <gasps> oh! Ah! Oh, I know. It's you again. Think you can scare me with the silly costume twice, huh? Ah! Ha! I can do better than that. Caw, caw, caw! And the fake feathers? Please! Where'd you find this stuff? Ah! And that mm, silly mm, beak! I know what you're doing. You want her to see I can fly, but it's not gonna work. Do you understand? You... 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 You're a real crow, aren't you? Ah! Get away from me! No! Help! Oh, dumb old dress! Oh. Ah! Ah! Come on, Pupcake. We gotta help. Sorry, Strawberry. You were all so nice to me. I couldn't stand the thought of leaving. What's going on out here? What's the matter? We heard yelling. Margalo, what happened to you? Guess I'm not so beautiful anymore, am I? Maybe we can help. We can give you a real makeover. Yeah, of course. That's what? it. That's what, what we've got to now do. Now we'll come together. It's what's inside, not what's out. What you say. It makes you beautiful Not what's outside, but what's in How you play, not if you win It makes you beautiful There's not one pretty face That can never take the place Of a caring, loving heart The very bestest owl Is the sweetest gal So are looking very beautiful today. Strawberry! Margalo! Just look at the berries, Margalo. All ripe and red and perfect. Thanks to you. And thanks to you, I have some new friends. I went home and started acting the way you said. And what do you know? I made so many friends, I don't know what to do with all of them. Hi, Strawberry. Nice to meet you. Hi, Fairy World Fairies. If you use your imagination, it looks just like a real one. Huh? If you 
ask me, it doesn't much look like a castle. It looks like a messy pile of sand. We are the sandy messes. Time for a splash. Yeah, let's go. Wait for me. I'm a sea turtle. <laughs> I'm a mermaid. <laughs> I can make the biggest splash. Watch me. <laughs> Arr! Arr! <laughs> huh? Hey, I think I saw something. Why, it's a sand dollar. Wow. Beautiful. It's absolutely astonishing. Hey, it's mine. I found it. I just want to look. Besides, Strawberry saw it first. Oh, I don't care. You two can have it. Hey, here's another one. Isn't it the most amazing thing? I wonder if there are any more. I'll look there. And I'll look here. They are sort of pretty, I guess. Ah! I found one! I found one! And it's mine! All mine! I guess you haven't heard the legend. The what? The legend of the lost treasure. Will you tell us, Seaberry? This treasure's made of sand dollars, too. But these are pure, solid, shining gold. Really? But that's impossible. She's kidding us. Well, now I can't say how true it is, or it isn't. All I can tell you is what I was told once, long, long ago. It all happened out there, far, far away, and deep, deep in the ocean where the candy coral grows and the sea sweeties swim. Out in a land of sugar sharks and peppermint porpoises. A world of mermaids and creatures like you never dreamed. Whoa, Seaberry! Did you say mermaids? That's right. I'm just telling you what I was told. And I was told there's a whole sea full of them. Red-headed mermaids like you, Strawberry. And mystery-loving mermaids like you, Blueberry. And they all lived and laughed together in a magical place under the sea. But that was before, before the treasure was found. Ooh, look there. Isn't it wonderful? It's beautiful. But it's just a shell. Tiny little, silly little shell. A wonderful, beautiful, tiny little shell. There are so many incredible things here. If only you take the time to look. When you look just where you're going, never stopping to explore, you miss all the worlds around you. You treat your eyes to the narrow view ahead. But if you pause just for a moment, you'll see things you can't ignore. And no wonder will astound you, like the world that's there on the ocean bed. Fish once told me about a whole lost mountain of them. No one knows exactly where it is, but they say it's somewhere dark and dangerous. Maybe we'll find it. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? Let's go look! Wait! They say those things only bring sadness and unhappiness. 
You don't really believe that, do you, Seaberry? Yeah, that's just a silly super touche. Stuper sish. Well, it's just nonsense. Come on, Blueberry. I'll look over this way. And I'll look that way. They are sort of pretty. Shall we look too? Why not? I found another one. I found one too! Wow, here's three of them. Everybody's finding them but me. Here, now we can all have one. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Hey, I... No, if I tell them, they'll come here looking for more. Hiya, Blueberry. Find anything? Nope, not yet. Nothing, nuh-uh. How about you? Haven't found a thing. Or maybe that's what she wants me to think. I have to watch myself. They could be following. I wonder where Blueberry and Rainbow went. I hope they didn't go in that candy kelp forest. There's no telling what's in there. Show this place to Blueberry and Rainbow. I wonder what could have happened to them. Looks like they've been this way. Come on. Could it be? Do I see? It's, it's gold. gold. And, and it's, it's mine. mine. I saw it first. After I saw it. Did not. Did too. Hey, wait. Whoa, what are you two talking about? We're all friends here, remember? After all, this gold doesn't mean anything. I mean, you're not getting greedy, are you? Mine! Mine! Won't you come back with us? We found the most amazing place to play. We don't have time for that. Yeah, we've got gold to find. Oh, look out! Huh? huh? She says it's dangerous to go on. She says some sea sweeties got greedy for gold. They went down this path in search of treasure. And they were never seen again. They're trying to scare us so they can keep the treasure for themselves. But I'm gonna get it for me. We better follow them. Huh? Did you see something? No. Did you? What is that? Whatever it is, it's big. We have to warn the girls. Rainbow! It's them. They're after the gold. Whoa! Hack, I'm trapped. I am so stuck. Help! 
saw anything like it. Yeah, but I saw it first. It's mine. No, it's mine. No, children. It is mine. Uh, uh, you better let us go. Oh, but I need your help. It's taken me years to get this much treasure, but things will go a lot faster with a pair of mermaids helping. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, but it came from over there. We have to help them. Let's go. No, we don't stand a chance against those big fish. We need a plan. Funny, these things aren't so amazing anymore, are they? Not at all. Psst, psst. Over here. Huh? What? No, don't look. I have an idea, but we need some of those sand dollars. When that sea serpent sees this trail of gold, it'll give the others a chance to escape. How could they have missed this much gold? How's that? Uh-oh. A mer thief! After her, fellows! but it's worth absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's not like it means anything. Hmm. You know, you're right, aren't you? It doesn't mean anything, does it? And you're okay. That's what really matters. I understand now, thanks to you. 
Can you ever forgive me for acting the way I did? If you promise not to do it again. Oh, I do, honey. I do promise. Then I guess we can forgive you. You truly are true friends. Uh-oh, I better check on my other friends. Friends, I have had an idea. From now on, no more bullying. We'll be sweet as sea berries. What do you think? <laughs> she says there are still sand dollars lying around and they're just going to cause more trouble. Maybe we should get rid of them. What do you say, girls? You betcha. Absolutely. Hooray! A friend can be worth her weight in gold and more. More precious each day than the day before. The time you choose to spend together with that friend is all it takes. A few Treasures found down in the deep blue sea May sparkle and excite both you and me But putting trinkets first would have to be the worst of all mistakes Can treasure hold me close? Can treasure comb my hair? Would treasure laugh at all my jokes? Does treasure really care? Trinkets sit and chat Do trifles swear they're true Do golden bubbles make me laugh They shimmer and they glimmer But I think I'll treasure you Can treasure hold me close? Can treasure comb my hair? Would treasure laugh at all my jokes? Does treasure really care? Do trinkets sit and chat? They shimmer and they glimmer, but I think I'll treasure you. All my best and sweetest friends, you know I'll treasure you. And so, each and every one of them even the sea serpent lived happily ever after. Hooray! Yay! 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 Or at least that's how the legend goes. What do you think we ought to do with these? I think there's only one thing to do. Where are you two going? Just a little something we need to do. Together. to steal my strawberries. Find your own, will you? <laughs> Popcake will never get finished if you keep eating them. Papaya Parrot, what brings you here? It's Coco! 
uh, Calypso. Poor, poor kid. Awful. Uh, dreadful. Arr, don't know where to start. Why don't you try the beginning? She, uh, and then, plus, on top of that, and the worst part, she's been robbed. <gasps> You know how she gathers sea berries at Seabury Shore to make sea berry treats for you and all her friends? Oh, I certainly do. And you also know she's all alone. Just her and me and two dozen monkeys and nobody else for miles and miles. Only there is, but there isn't. Say what I mean? Well, not exactly. Not precisely. Not at all. Somebody stealing the sea berries! We need your help, Strawberry! Of course I'll help! Friends help friends! Coco Calypso needs help? Count me in, matey! The good ship Rainbow Float is at your service! And I love a good mystery. Can I come too? Sure! You know what they say! What's that? Mystery loves company! It's simple. As long as we keep heading ahead, we can't get lost. Land ahoy! We're here! We're home! We're home sweet home! I'll go get Coco Calypso! Time to drop anchor! Give me a hand, mateys! Whoa, uh, this is uh, heavy! It has to be to keep the houseboat from drifting away. Rainbow Sherbert and Blueberry Muffin. They've come to help. Oh, thank you. Come on with me and I'll tell you everything that happened. It all started a few weeks ago when I went out on the rocky point to gather sea berries, like I do most every day. Nothing seemed wrong. After I finished, it was time for some supper, then off to bed. <sighs> In the morning, when I went to bake some sea berry treats for you, <gasps> the berries were gone! A trail of them led to the lagoon and disappeared. Someone or something had stolen all of my sea berries. And every night since, the same things happened. That's why I haven't sent you any sea berry treats for weeks and weeks. Well, it's not going to happen again. If we can help it, Here's what I gathered today. They look lovely. Try one. Mmm, yum. Delicious. I never tasted anything like them. Because oh, there isn't anything like them. They only grow in the waters off Seabury Beach. We'll make sure nothing happens to them, even if we have to sit up all night. Right, girls? You got it. You can count on us. There. Now all we have to do is sit behind these palms and wait for whatever we're waiting for. I don't know how to thank you for this. I sure hope we solve this mystery soon. <gasps> you can count sheep on it. I mean, sleep on it. I mean, you can count on it. So long as we <sighs> don't fall. <gasps>
This thief is a sea thief. Ah! I'll never be able to make my friend Seaberry treats again. <laughs> and no one will come see me. Not with some creature in the lagoon. Don't give up hope, Coco. We don't even know what kind of creature this creature is. Could be a put it there, glad to see you, not so very scary sort of sea creature. We're just going to have to find out, which means getting it to come back again, which means... More, More sea, sea berries. berries! Ready, set, heave ho! Now we pull the net in very slowly and evenly. Don't jerk it or we'll lose the berries. How very beautiful they are. Tonight we'll take turns staying awake and keeping watch. Ah, dinner time! Coconut juice and taro root crackers. Aren't you going to join us, Coco? Can't. Got a big surprise to share with you all. We're on, guys. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Hit it, boys! Life is sweet on the sea very shore. It's paradise. Who could ask for more? I got sugar white sand in a home by the sea. There's only my monkey's not parrot and me. I can make my butt however I choose. Play in the sun, take in the views. Like the moon on the water, the stars up above. Savory Shore is the home that I love With all that I've got With all that I've found It's okay by me If there's no one around With all that I've got With all that I've found Why would I need Any people around? Float on down where the soda stream flows See the place to see Berry Rose There's no place like it and where could it be? As fun for my monkeys, my parents Of you, Coco. Hey, you can all move in with me if you wanna. I'll take the first watch so the rest of you can sleep. Strawberry? Does Coco seem kind of, well, lonely to you? <sighs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Rise and shine, Rainbow Sherbert! Uh... Aye, aye, Captain. I'm so tired I could fall asleep just sitting here. <sighs> I know just how you feel. Rise and shine. <sighs> oh no! It happened again! And there's another trail of berries. It's almost like this thing wants to be caught. Maybe it does want to be. Maybe we ought to take my boat out in the lagoon and look around. I don't see anything. 
Nothing except those dark clouds on the horizon. Could be a storm coming. Check it out, sea berries. Let's stop the boat and get out the net. Arr, how about a hand with the anchor? Mm, how about two? Anchors away! We got a ton of sea berries today. We sure did. Shiver me timbers. We'd better head back. A storm like that can move fast. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, dear. We've got to get back to shore. Whoa. Whoa. Give me a hand with the anchor. Uh. 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 It's sort of stuck. We have to get it in, or the boat will be ripped to pieces. Let's heave and ho. Wasn't luck after all. Whoa! Hmm. It's been cut. That means somebody or something helped us. But who and why? Look! Did I see what I think I saw? If you think you saw what I think I saw, I think we all saw it. I think we better get back to shore. And I think I have an idea. When the berries are moved here, it moves this wire there, which will make this rope here pull the net up into this tree there. And this alarm will wake us up. This time we won't sleep through anything. Trap! It worked! We finally caught it! Whatever it is. Watch yourself. It might be dangerous. It might bite. Or claw. Or breathe fire. Or something absolutely awful. Or maybe it's no monster at all. I'm going to let it down. Strawberry, no! <gasps> A mermaid! Where? Where? Oh, oh, my. You're not a mermaid. <laughs> I never said I was. You're a girl. I never said I wasn't. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. This is Coco Calypso, Blueberry Muffin, and Rainbow Sherbert. I'm Seaberry Delight. I live in the lagoon. Hey, how'd that get there? That's our anchor. I thought you might need it. You mean... You cut the rope? Well, you looked like you were in trouble. I was out on the rocks when I saw the storm coming in. I saw you were stuck, so I dove in the water. That's when I saw that your anchor was caught in a rock. I swam right home to get something to cut with. You see, you have to swim to get to my house. It's the only way in. My house is hidden from above, so I'm safe from storms. I went right back and cut your anchor rope. I hope you don't mind. Mind? You saved our lives! You live in the lagoon? Yep. But how come I've never seen you? I've sort of kept to myself. I guess I'm no good at making friends. During the day, I take care of the sea berry plants and gather the berries when they're ripe. I use them to feed myself and my friends. My favorites are the sea sweeties. They're about the cutest creatures in all the sea. But then, one day, the sea berries began disappearing. I had to do something. My friends were hungry. Oh no! I thought 
like you were stealing them from me, but I was stealing them from you. Coco was taking the sea berries to make sea berry treats. Would you like to try one? Mmm! Oh, they're very delicious. But I guess I won't be able to make any more. I have a very good idea. Maybe Coco could take a few berries less and share the treats she makes with the sea sweeties. What do you think, Seaberry Delight? I just know the sea sweeties will love these wonderful treats. And what's more, Seaberry, you can be a friend to Coco, and Coco can be a friend to you. Hooray! Yay! Yes! <laughs> It's so much sweeter than ever before In the sugar white sand where it once walked alone There's a new pair of footprints next to my own And a change has begun that is sweeping the bay Somehow the sun felt warmer today I guess I was lonesome cause in the end The sea very sure is much more with a friend When you share things like places you love The sand at your feet or the stars up above The sand feels softer, the stars are more bright and the whole place feels just righter than right There's a warmth in the air and a hug in the breeze That wouldn't be there if it wasn't for these New footprints beside me here on the shore Somehow a friend makes it all mean so much more A friend you can call A friend to be there A friend to the end And a world to share Spread the news from the hills to the shore Friendships is sugar, sweet treat, and it's more It's someone to count and it's something to make It's someone to run when you're needing a break You'll see troubles fade and you'll have a new view Everything's made so much better by two The tropical beat on the sea berry shore You know a friend makes it all mean so much more <laughs>